Hello, I'm Frank Tawley. It's now widely accepted that no tillage is the most sustainable way to grow the world's food. But how do we make no tillage sustainable in farmers' hands? All too often, farmers' crops end like this, even though they use machines from reputable manufacturers. But it doesn't have to be like this. Forty years ago, a team of scientists at New Zealand's Massey University began to research the reasons for no-tillage crop failures. The team leader, Dr John Baker, explained. Failed crops had been occurring since no-tillage was first tried. No matter how good it is for the environment, it was obvious that farmers would never adopt it willingly unless it could be made at least as fail-safe as conventional cultivation. We asked ourselves what the seeds really need in untilled soils. Do untilled soils behave the same as cultivated soils, or do they have different properties? We found they were quite different. Although we knew that all soils have air spaces between the particles, we did not know that this soil air is always at 100% relative humidity, even when the soil is very dry. In fact, it is 99.8% at wilting point, which is when the soil is so dry that the plants wilt and die. We also learned that most seeds can germinate without any soil contact at all, so long as they remain surrounded by high humidity air. When soils are cultivated, much of the soil humidity escapes into the atmosphere. Seeds then rely on liquid water alone for germination, which comes from rainfall or irrigation. This means that cultivated soils need good soil to seed contact. Farmers have learnt to adapt to this for centuries. Most no tillage openers either disturb the slot too much or often leave it open. Either way, it doesn't trap the soil humidity, even though the soil in between the slots remains undisturbed. So we figured that if we could design an opener that self-closed the slot and trapped the moisture vapour, then the seeds would get the benefit of both vapour moisture and liquid moisture. And that's exactly what we designed cross-slot openers to do. The science they're based on has won international acclaim and has never been challenged. Cross-slot openers make horizontal slots, shaped like an inverted T. Humidity is trapped in the seed zone beneath a mulch of crop residue. Both the soil and this residue are then folded back over the slot. 
This cocoon is seen in seedlings in a humid microenvironment. It also has good soil to seed contact. They therefore get the best of both worlds. The end result is the highest possible reliability of seedling emergence from dry soils. And horizontal slots are unique to crosslot. The problem was to find a way of sowing fertiliser in a separate band to the seed. This is one of the most important functions that a no-till opener must perform. Soil microbes use nitrogen in breaking down surface residues. But broadcasting the fertiliser on the surface means the nutrients take too long to get to the newly establishing seedlings and we risk runoff polluting waterways. Horizontal slots make the task simple and foolproof. The seed and the fertiliser are placed either side of the central disc. Extensive research shows there is no better way to separate bands of seed and fertiliser than horizontally. But for those who believe that some vertical separation is helpful, we can achieve that too by using different length blades on either side of the disc. Cross-lock openers separate seed and fertiliser into two horizontal bands with a single opener.